speed. We've had several limbs and you name it, wash in. And we got a little bit of debris we're going to have to drive over. So you're going to feel a little bit of bump, and we're not going to hit it real hard. The log that we had to run over yesterday, thank God, is gone today. You know, we had a pretty good bump. But we're just going to kind of ease off in here and let her kind of go for a flop. Grab a good hold of whatever you feel best to grab a hold of a situation like this, because here we go. Yeah. Welcome to Lake Hamilton. <laughs> you know, folks, I actually do get paid a little bit for doing this. But I do that part right there for free. Just to see the expressions on y'all's faces. Wheel drive territory. Also, there's originally set up to where the driver could be right here in the driver's seat and either inflate or deflate the tires. Now, that was kind of a neat deal, I think, for way back then reason why for that so when they was landing if it had been mud or sand or something soft you know they could let the air out of the tire so they'd flatten out to get the most maximum amount of traction once i got back to heart service i gear about to go farther back in and that folks is how we do it now before i get into the curve got the front end disengaged once i get into that curve then i wind up gear pressure and about the only way you get her undone this is to back up and unwind the gear pressure. 